It's Randy Factor time looking ahead to Tuesday and five tolerable for being and working outside. We're kind of stuck in a rut here, but it still looks kind of cloudy, a little chilly, although temperatures climb a little bit more than they did today. 23 this evening now for the low temperature. 32 this afternoon was it for the high temperature. No precipitation. Dry weather to start off the month of February. Here's a look at West Omaha. The camera at the Methodist Women's Hospital. You can tell there's a little bit of moisture in the air, but the visibility is still pretty good out here. 25 degrees now. Southeast breeze, that's probably going to keep the air stirred up enough to avoid any really dense fog in the Omaha metro. 21 now in Harlan, Denison, 18 to Kama, 24 in Lincoln. There's that little southeast breeze now. Nebraska City, Plattsmouth, Lincoln, Fremont, Omaha, Tacoma. So the feels like ooh, 9 to Kama, 14 Omaha. That's chilly. Got to bundle up. There's live Super Doppler 7 radar. Breaks in the clouds, but now clouds have filled back in from the south. Same thing in Lincoln here, so the low cloud cover probably going to stick around. Look at that. They call it a nor'easter because the wind comes in hard from the northeast and the moisture comes in off the Atlantic Ocean, and when the air is cold enough, you get a big snowstorm like this one. Pounding D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York, Albany, Hartford, and Boston. The West got some Pacific air moving in. They have gotten some coastal rain here and mountain snow for days and days, but that moves over the Rockies. The air dries out and we will see a moderating trend. Now we still have lots of snow cover, so that'll kind of halt the rise in the temperatures though. Overnight into the low 20s and maybe some low clouds and or fog, hoping for some breaks in the clouds like we saw today, some sunshine later in the afternoon boosting temperatures above freezing. High pressure edging away, probably some thick fog still in south central Nebraska in the morning, but it'll tend to fade away. However, still some low cloud cover indicated and uh, maybe a chance of a little more sun as you get into Iowa. Then late Tuesday night, early Wednesday, more fog east into eastern Iowa and Illinois. Wednesday, stronger south winds should break up the clouds a little bit. Then this front is going to sweep through here early on Thursday and some snow showers in its wake, maybe a half an inch to an inch, but very strong northwest winds. So partly cloudy tonight, some dense fog by morning, some clouds, fog at seven, still mostly cloudy noontime and partly sunny. Fingers crossed a late day fog early in the day. Maybe the groundhog. That's right. Tomorrow's groundhog day. Maybe the groundhog won't see his shadow, which would mean an early spring. We'll check it on Punxsutawney Phil as well. 44 on Wednesday, kind of breezy, then falling temperatures. Thursday morning snow, half an inch, inch, inch and a half. Cold Friday, colder still Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Wow. All right. Thanks, Bill. Sure.